morning. Today is Monday and we have unlocked a lot, a lot of milestones recently. I've just had a very exciting delivery because we are starting off weaning this week, which is just crazy. Well, I'm going to see if he's ready to start weaning because he's all right holding his head up. He's going to be okay with that. He is so unbelievably interested in food as well. And I know apparently that's a bit of a myth that they're actually ready for it. They're just intrigued and curious anyway. But whenever I give him something to hold, like yesterday I gave him a spoon just to like hold and mess with and literally straight away, everything is just going straight to mouth. So his hand-eye coordination is there as well, which is great. And so I think we're ready to give it a little bit of a shot. So I don't have a first class clue where to start. I have absolutely no idea. Obviously I've never ever weaned a child before. I don't know what I'm doing. So I thought I'd order a couple of books from Amazon and these are the ones that I got recommended. So I first off picked up How to Wean Your Baby by Charlotte Sterling Reed and I love this one just from flicking through just from flicking through it already because there's like a 30 day guide plan in here and I'm gonna follow it word for word because I thought you know what? I just need a bit of confidence when it comes to this. Like I say, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I really love the sort of like veg led approach that she like takes on and does. Because I know a lot of people like start with baby porridge and baby rice. And while I mean, obviously every mum does things differently. I just want him to like try new things and new tastes and they're sweet. And like the book says already that it's more than likely that they are going to enjoy it. They're used to either like sweet breast milk or sweet formula. Look at me chatting as if I actually know what I'm talking about. I don't. This is just what I've from the book so far but she encourages mums to like try new tastes and textures and getting them straight onto veg which I'm so here for because obviously as you know I love veg I love growing veg and it's going to be really upsetting if Oscar decides that he doesn't like eating veg so I want to get him onto it straight away so like I say there is a plan in here it gives you shopping lists it literally takes you like step by step through everything which I absolutely love but then I did also pick up this um the first foods book as well from Ella's Kitchen because I've just heard everybody like everybody speak about Ella's Kitchen in the weaning chart so I've ordered that as well although it's not coming yet I think he said like seven to ten working days to come but I'm gonna crack on anyway because I'm obviously following that book but this has just got loads and loads of different amazing recipes in it for when he's like a few months into weaning so I'm very excited to try these out but at the beginning again it just tells you all about like the different textures and foods and it gives you a bit of a chart as well as to what you can do so like introducing singular veggies to begin with as a puree and then moving on and combining veggies and different things together so this one also looks really really great as well I just I prefer I don't know why I just prefer the layout of this one so I'm going to crack on with this one did I say it was by Charlotte Sterling Reed? I'm not sure, but that's who it's by anyway, and she's a baby child nutritionist. So yeah, I'm very excited about these because so I have these delivered. I've got the food shop downstairs, which has just arrived, so I need to go and pack that away. But obviously I wanted to show you the food shop first because I love looking at other people's food shop. And I've also have the high chair delivered as well. So today I need to go downstairs first of all. I need to pack away the food shop. I need to make the high chair, and also I want to start making some little purees as well for him so I can get those all prepped into ice cubes. And it just means that there's no food waste either if it all goes into the freezer so yeah let's go downstairs and i'll show you what i picked up in my food shop how exciting i don't know if anybody else finds this exciting but i absolutely love it tell me you're starting weaning without telling me you're starting weaning i have got all the veggies here for him so apparently over the first 10 days he tries a different vegetable every single day so we've got swede kale beans avocado he's got potatoes he's got an aubergine did I say carrots, a courgette, cauliflower, and I've also got broccoli in already. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, broccoli, 10. And I, like I said, I'm just gonna puree these up. He's gonna use some of them as finger foods as well, just to have a chomp on, make them nice and soft for him so I can put them in these ice cube trays. And I did just really quickly pick up this bib as well. I want to order one of those big, like, you know, the ones that are like massively overall, basically, and they just sort of like tie up around him and it just covers everything. I want one of those because they just look, so much easier to clean so i'm gonna order one of those but i want it to get cracking i'm very impulsive i wanted to start this now so i just ordered that bib so we can get things moving and grooving and then when i've ordered one of those big like coverall things he can use that instead so though that's all the veg for oski bear but obviously we're going to be dipping into that as well because that is a lot a lot a lot of veg there just for a little man himself he won't be eating a whole bag of potatoes so for me and mark this week we're having a thai red so i've got some chicken with that some crackers rice and and 
peppers to go inside of that and then i cheat i just use like this red thai curry paste and also the coconut milk as well just for ease so much quicker and easier and then we're having sausage and mash and peas oh peas is another veg that i've got in the freezer for oski bear as well and then i've got some dark chocolate chips and some cupcake cases there because i've got a load of bananas left over so i'm going to make some of those for snacks as well as just like little muffins We've got some honey for Mark for his porridge in the morning. I'm also going to do a chicken pasta bake as well because, again, ease. It's just quick and easy. We've got tuna and sweet corn sandwiches for lunch. And, oh, I'm excited about this. I ordered some bread mix because I have done this before, but not a sourdough loaf. And I love the smell of bread in the house. It just smells so, so, so good. So I wanted to give this a go and see if it comes out all right. So at some point this week, we'll have a go at making our own bread. I've got mozzarella for the pasta bake. And then I've got some rocket salad because I'm just kind of shoving this in everything at the moment, like in my sandwiches, which is obviously what the bread is for. But also this week, we're going to have these cod and chorizo fish cakes as well with the salad. And then we're going to have a cottage pie. I've also got some leftover lasagna in the freezer as well that I've already made. So that's what the garlic bread is for. Mark will have that. And then eggs I have for breakfast. And my favourite, my favourite, favourite, favourite guacamole as well, which I have on a bit of bread too. This is just so, so good. I literally cannot rave about this enough. I love it so, so, so much. I don't know how many calories are in it, but I eat it. I love it. And then we will be mixing in this veg into our food this week as well. Like the carrots and the beans will go with the cottage pie and obviously the potatoes. I'll eat the other half of the avocado because that doesn't like freeze particularly well I don't think so he can just try a tiny bit of it and then I'll eat the rest of it on the day and then obviously kale can just be mixed in with anything and yeah I swear sometimes you lay out your food shop and you think all of that money costs that I just don't I don't understand how food shopping is just getting so 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 much more expensive I mean normally I go to Aldi but just again for ease and convenience, I've been doing a Tesco's food shop at the moment. But that all near enough came to like 70 odd quid and I just got veg. I think it came to like, no, sorry, that's a lie. I think it was like 62-ish and I just got a big bag of ice as well, which has obviously gone straight into the freezer. But that just seems a lot for veg and a bit of chicken and sausage. I don't know, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna pack that away now. And then I wanna get prepping some bits. So I wanna start doing a few bits of pureeing and I also wanna make my little, um, banana cupcakes as well so I can have those for a sack but also I need to crack on and make some breakfast too because I haven't eaten this morning and while Oscar's asleep I want to sit down and eat my breakfast in peace. Was that a nice nap? Yeah it was wasn't it? Who's had a lovely nap? Yes you have. We're gonna make your high check because you're gonna get ready to eat some nice yummy grubby food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these little toes. Oh, I will never, ever, ever get enough of these little toots. And how cute are these trousers from his nana? I absolutely love them. They're from M&S and he's got a little H&M jumper on today. You're looking very, very cute on this Monday, aren't you? You've been rubbing your eyes in your nap as well, haven't you? You've got little red marks on your face. Well, let's get cracking with your high chair then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you do high five. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> right, let's shimmy you out the way then, mister. Whee! Are you gonna watch mummy? Yeah. Right, the box is very damaged, so I'm hoping that nothing's actually happened to the high chair. But it has been an absolute fast try to get hold of this from Argos. So I'm hoping that I don't end up needing to send it back, but let's take some pictures of it, and then we'll crack it open and see if there is any damages, but oh, touch with there isn't. Are you excited? Yeah, mommy's excited too.
Say, Daddy, I can't have sausage yet. Are we gonna have dinner all together tonight? Yeah. Yeah! He's such a big boy! Still got my toes. <laughs> Hello, yo. What are you doing up there? Are you looking at your daddy? What are you doing up there? You waving? Say yeah. hi! That's lovely. I'll check it out. morning i am so excited because we're heading back to baby sensory today it's been off for a couple of weeks because of the easter holidays so we're heading back to there right now today and i cannot wait because oscar absolutely loves it and although it literally oh yeah although he actually won't sleep tonight because he ends up getting like so overstimulated although i hope he's like past that now he's awake like normally like every single hour on a baby sensory day but it is what it is because he loves it so much when we're there but yeah we're gonna head there now and then later on today i'm super excited because i'm gonna go see polly as well which i can't wait for she's actually coming over so we're gonna have a lovely chill day today which i just can't wait for so wednesday today is gonna be a very good day we are now back from baby sensory and little man has not had the nap that i was hoping for although i did manage to get home and my number one top tip for going to baby sensory classes is to make yourself a sandwich for the next day the night before because i literally i got home he fell asleep in the car and i managed to sit down and have a sandwich in peace read my book have a hot chocolate and then he woke up which he wasn't meant to do and i'm just not i'm not excited for tonight and what it's going to bring so i'm hoping he has a bit more of a nap while polly's here but yeah, I thought I could just do a quick weaning update because it's so exciting. He's enjoyed broccoli. Well, not so much broccoli. He enjoyed courgette a lot more than broccoli. And we're going to try carrot today, which is very exciting. Or maybe some peas. But he's doing really, really well. It's just getting used to all like the gagging and the funny faces that he pulls. It's just so funny. But yeah, the weaning's going great. And I've also started the little food chart as well because my Edna's Kitchen food chart arrived, which is great. I'm going to put that up on the wall and just tick off Instead of ticking, actually, I'm going to write, like, the date that he had things. But, yeah, Polly's on her way over now, so I'm going to have a quick blitz of the house. And also, later today, I'm hoping I want to make a big pile of things that I can sell on Vinted. Because I've seen so many people make so much money from Vinted, so I'm going to give that a go as well. So, yeah, I'm going to have a quick blitz of the house and then hopefully get organised and upstairs for my wardrobe. Does that sound like a plan? <laughs> so sleepy still. Let's go get you a bottle. <laughs> I've just spent a bit of time going through my wardrobe and I say a bit of time it actually took me about 30 seconds to realize I have hardly any clothes anyway I forgot I did like a massive clear out not so long ago and literally got rid of like everything because I was just having a big old like winter clear out ready for spring and I don't actually have any clothes left to sell from that because they all went to charity so i've got like one jacket that i'm happy to put on vintage and then i was going to look through oscar's stuff as well and in my head i'm just like oh that that'll be cute if we're blessed to have another baby that'll be cute if we're blessed to have another baby and i'm just like you know what i'll wait until we have our next baby touch wood hopefully and then i'll do a big clear out after that because the thing is i don't know whether it was like obviously our first and oscar was our first bubba but we were very very fortunate and got gifted a lot of clothes like his baby clothes and I'm such a sentimental Mark will call it a hoarder but I just call it a sentimental person because I look at the clothes and I think oh like his nana got him that or his great nana got him that or his auntie got him that or his cousin got him that and I'm just like no I can't throw anything away what I do need to do at some point which is a bigger job which I'm definitely not going to tackle today is I need to empty out all of his clothes and what I want to do is because I know I'll thank my future self is separate them into like premature newborn not to three up to one month all the like different sections and do that at some point because I know when it comes to like having our next I'll be so thankful that I've done that and touch wood our next baby isn't so premature so we don't need to use all the itty bitty tiny baby stuff because it just blows my mind 
mind that Oscar was even too small for like tiny baby clothes and we could not find one brand of clothes that fit him because they were all just like swallowed him up. I just hope and hope and hope and hope that next time it's a lot more smooth sailing and we don't go through the ruckus that we did last time. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave all of Oscar's clothes for now and not put any of them up and because I'm just too, I'm too sentimental. But one thing I did want to show you that I've been putting a lot on my vintage is like my old books. I've been reading one, it's selling it and then buying a new one instead of just buying loads and loads of books, which I'm such a sucker for because for me, there's nothing like a new book. I absolutely love it. But this is a trilogy that I've just recently read. And I think there is a prequel as well called Killjoy, which I need to order and read. But it's this series because I saw it going all around on TikTok. It's the Holly Jackson, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, like three books. So there's that one, there's Good Girl, Bad Blood, and then As Good As Dead. And oh my goodness, I blitzed these. I got through them so, so, so quickly. I literally read this one in a day and a half yesterday. And I just, oh. <laughs> Oscar's just waking up, you can hear him chatting away. <laughs> he's just in his bassinet next to me, which he is now fully grown out of, I need to take down. Well, he's not grown out of it, he still loves chilling in it, but he is in his big boy bed now in his cot next door. But anyway, that's a whole different sleep story. But this is just some books that I wanted to recommend because I absolutely love them. And like I say, I'll put them on my vintage if anyone has been looking for these instead of buying them on Amazon. Obviously, I've just literally read through them once. It's so annoying because when I ordered it from Amazon, it came with a little tear in it. And I know I'm being pedantic, but yeah, I'll put those on Vinted, obviously. A lot, a lot, lot cheaper than what you can get all three for. Because I think I spent like 24 quid on all of these together, but I'll just put them up for like seven pound or something so you can get three for seven instead. But these are so good. They're such like a... <laughs> They're such like a easy read who done it more suspense than any sort of like glo glo gory thriller than i've read before they're very more yeah just more sort of like suspense and i love like predicting who did things when it comes to this but yeah these are great i absolutely loved this so 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 much could not put them down so now i'm looking for a book to read again now and i love reading like a series and there's a new oh god i can't remember the series there's another one that i've seen on tiktok but it's more of like a lovey romance sort of one and i think i'm gonna read that next but if you do have any recent books that you've read that you've absolutely loved especially like a series and let me know but yeah so i'm gonna put those on my vintage now and that's about it i'm gonna go and get him a bottle and oh my goodness i'm so excited because we are heading swimming today for the first time so that's why i've got the no makeup look today because i'm not putting any makeup on to go swimming i just need to go and do my skincare actually but yeah we're gonna go swimming for the first time we've never we've never taken him swimming before obviously because it's our first time but i'm so excited because he absolutely loves the bath i'm just dreading getting him out because when we get him out of the bath like the whole street know about it like he screams he cries and lets everybody knows that he wants to stay in the bath but we've like been doing like dunking bits and things in the bath so hopefully he's like pretty used to the water but yeah he loves it in there so i'm so excited to take him today i just about still feel in my swimming costume that I've got. It's gonna be very, very tight. But my cut, my um, weight loss journey is going really well. I'm 3.6 pounds down in a week and a half, which I'm very, very proud of. I might do a dedicated video to that at some point and just do like some meal ideas and things like that because I love, I love those kind of videos as well. So yeah, I'm very, very proud of myself. The journey is going well. I'm feeling so much better in myself as well. And I can't believe it, but I haven't let myself slip yet. Normally I get like three days into a diet and then I just binge a load of chocolate I eat loads and then I feel really rubbish the next day and I haven't I haven't done that this time which I'm just so 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 proud of myself for because it's the preparation for me I've made sure that I've got the food in the fridge that I want in the fridge I've been doing my food shop like regularly I've been drinking enough as well because most of the time I'm normally thirsty not hungry so yeah I've been eating enough I've been prepping my lunches so it's just really quick and easy to get out of the fridge rather than thinking oh I'll just grab a sandwich from somewhere oh I'll just eat this rubbish instead or and then I just end up eating rubbish instead of like a nice healthy lunch so yeah preparation is key for me so yeah I'm just very proud of myself for that as well but I'm gonna go get little man his bottle now because he's been very patient with me and then I need to go and pack his changing bag for swimming and I've got a few other little errands to run today I need to go get a blender because I broke that making the puree the other day <laughs> But it was literally just like a £5 one from Argos. So I'm going to see if I can get like a little baby blitzer instead. So I can just 
very easily put that in the dishwasher once I'm done with it. Um, but other than that, I can't think of much else that we're doing today. But yeah, let me go and get little Manny's bottle. And I can't remember if I said, but I'll leave a link in my description for my vintage in case you didn't want to pick those books up from me. I just pause Asha for a sec. I absolutely love washing. Washing? <laughs> I absolutely love watching Asha Mary Lou on YouTube and obviously follow her on Instagram and everything as well. But I thought I'd just show you a little bit of reality of what on earth. <laughs> Where are you off to, mister? But a bit of reality as to what's going on in the living room right now. Hi, gorgeous. Yeah, a bit of reality as to what's going on in the living room right now. And everything is not as perfect as what it seems on Instagram when you see people's home accounts. Hello. I'd like to think that a lot more people's houses is as ruckusy as this one when they've got a little mister like this rolling around that socks by the way not a dirty wipe i wouldn't leave that next to him but yeah i need to have a bit of a freshen up friday i've just changed his bum so i've got dirty nappy bags everywhere i need to have a big sort out of this situation i need to give his play mat a clean i need to tidy up the area and get blankets on i need to have a hooper this has literally become like the full doggy's bed has in it, my gorgeous girl. They just sleep for England, don't you? Went on a massive walk last night, so they're tidy out today, which is lovely. I need to get the blinds nice and open, and yeah, just have a bit of a freshen up Friday for as long as this little lap man, little lamb. Oh my goodness, I can't get my words out for as long as this little man lets me. Yeah. 